When you smell a fragrance, you might think you know what you're getting into, but you don't. And you might think you can control it, but you can't. And if you're a perfumista, you probably don't even want to. At least that's the way it is for me. Take for example last week. I visited a new perfume boutique in Paris in the Marais district, the Dover Street Market. And the minute the door opened, strange things started happening. Surreal structures give way to a gracefully curved line of small violet bottles, Monum. Immediately, it's 2016. I'm in Florence at Petit Fragrance. Simone Bongiorno is introducing me to his new line of 100% natural fragrance oils, Ermanno, Nardo, Oscuro, each with its own powers. And now, there's Erba. What is it about this fragrance that triggers a memory, both sweet and melancholy? Back at home, I devise a system to help me find my way using timed olfactive mileposts, where chapters begin and end. At 3.15, I apply Araba to my wrist. Observations, green, deep green, sharply aromatic, warm yet cool, pervasive, salty, dark. It reminds me of the Maquis, those low-lying shrubs that grow in the Mediterranean regions of Europe, which I discovered when I was 22, the summer I moved to Europe. But they're older, deeper memories, the smell of dry pine needles and other small shrubs that hug the ground of North American woodlands where I grew up, earthy with traces of dirt and dry leaves. It's September, just a month after my 16th birthday. My sister had just whispered in my ear, you can get whatever you want, Sarah. You just need to say yes and follow where it leads. So after lunch on the porch, I agreed to take a walk with him. And as we crossed the field that led to the woods, I could feel the eyes of the others watching. Clearly, I wasn't the only one amazed and thrilled to be alive that September afternoon. The kind of afternoon where the sharp angle of the sun makes you see that what was green only moments before is now burnished and a new season has begun. 4.30 p.m. The shadows of the forest are pungent. The ground beneath the trees is warm and prickly. At 6, Erba has become smoky. At 7.30, the birds have stopped chirping. The twilight is sweet and peaceful as lavender. At 10.30, Erba has become cool, like winking starlight. It's 2 a.m. The moon has woken me up. Erba is fainter now, receding. How can something so intense only hours ago now only exist as fading traces of memory? Where has it gone? I press my wrist to my face and breathe deeply. It's there, in the soft malleability of my own skin, alive. I need to remember this. <laughs>